Hi, welcome to Marianne's Alaska Kitchen. This is Marianne. Today I'm going to be making some shakshuka, which is an Israeli dish. It's a breakfast dish, lunch dish, dinner dish. There, here we have it for breakfast. And it's got a secret ingredient called harissa. Available on Amazon. Don't have to get this brand, but I love it. And it's got simple ingredients, garlic, onions, harissa, a can of organic diced tomatoes, and some eggs. So let's get cooking. All right, so I've got my onions diced and my garlic minced, and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna turn on my pan. I'm gonna get a little bit of olive oil in there probably a couple of tablespoons, actually more like a tablespoon and a half. And I'm gonna put my onions in. I'm gonna wait on the garlic because if you cook garlic too soon, it will burn and become bitter. So that's always kind of last before you add the tomatoes in or any kind of sauce, put your garlic in right before you're ready to put liquids in. And we're gonna let these go for a couple of minutes until they get translucent, adding a little bit of salt. Doesn't need very much pepper because the harissa is spicy. So it didn't have my audio on very well there, but I just added my harissa paste, about a tablespoon. And uh, you can use more or less depending on how much spice you like. I'm going to add water, fill this can that the tomatoes were in, and add it to the sauce. So this will basically create about eight eggs worth, four servings, and you can double the recipe if you need to. In goes our water. I like that little bit of char that you're gonna see here. Um, it's not a lot, but just a little bit on the onions. And once this comes to a bubble, we're gonna put our eggs in and poach them in this liquid. Poaching, poaching is just cooking eggs in a liquid, usually water for things like hollandaise um, eggs and uh, Turkish eggs, which I'll show you in another video, and then we'll cover it until the eggs are perfect. So it's bubbling just around the edges now. The trick, as I showed, my husband showed me, which is to pop the top off, leave the yolk hanging down there at the bottom of the egg cup, and then just gently pop it in there. I'm only making two right now because my sons aren't up and they're not ready to eat, but I can add them in to the sauce after I take my serving out and it'll be perfect. There they are simmering. I'm gonna cover them. Probably will take about five minutes for those eggs to get to where I like them. I like the yolk just cooked and the yolk nice and runny. So it's been five minutes. And I put that down to low immediately as it started simmering so it didn't get overcooked. And they're gorgeous. I'm gonna dish them up and let you see what the finished product like, looks like. I've sprinkled on a little bit of dried dill. Dill and eggs are good friends. And I'm gonna eat. Nice gooey runny egg. Delicious harissa spiced tomato sauce and onions and garlic. It's actual comfort food, believe it or not. And yet it's light, which I love. Here we go. That runny egg with the garlic and the onions and the tomatoes and the harissa, it's just spectacular. Try it, you're gonna love it. 
Thanks for visiting Marianne's Alaska Kitchen. We'll be back with chicken panang, a Thai dish with crazy good flavors and fairly easy to make. See you then.